Like, holy sh I should have just did this shit off stream. There's somebody out there that has no fucking idea. Like, what are we doing? You've been, I've been blocking Dollar with the same slide and it's had the same tells for 10 years. And you know what I said? You know what? People are here late chilling. Let me just tell them what I'm going to show on the YouTube video tomorrow anyway. Because there's 75,000 fucking YouTube subscribers that love this shit. What is up with these guys? Super bummer, dude. YouTube, man, if you guys are still rocking on the Mad YouTube as we close over 75,000 subscribers, that means you're still liking Madden, you're still playing it. Let me know if you guys are still playing Madden. MLB dropped, I've been playing that a lot more than I've been playing Madden on the launch. Let me know what you're playing. Do you have MLB? Are you playing 2K? Are you playing Warzone? What other games are you playing with Madden? And I'll show you guys, since you've been rocking this long, I'll show you guys how to play against some dollar defense because I'm sure if you're playing Madden, you're definitely running against free safety blitz, spinner, DB fire, dollar in general, boys. But I'll show you guys right now. Gave you a little a little breakdown. All right, what we're going to do right here is all right, I'll show you free safety zone blitz. I showed you guys in a couple of videos ago how I like to run this defense. And now I want to show you guys how I like to play against dollar in general when I'm playing offense. All right, boys. So you see dollar. What you want to do for the most part, you're going to get this look all the time. You're going to get a baseline. You're going to get a press every single time for the most part. You'll get this look all the time. Baseline, pinch, press. So what you want to do right away is you want to slide right. That's going to help you pick up the blitz just, just by default. It's going to help you pick up the blitz. Let's see. Boom. You pick up the blitz just with a slide right. Now I'm on the guy. So, so slide right is pretty much what you're going to get. Now, in order to block that blitz, and DB fire, what I like to do, what I like to do is slide right, block my running back, and then ID this guy on the left. This is gonna help you block every linebacker blitz, every DB fire blitz, everything they give you, this will block it. Now, what the the biggest thing is the running back will block this this DB on the other side. So a lot of people will run this blitz, blitz this guy right here, contain this one linebacker there and this will be the look so if you slide right and make sure you id that slot corner we get beautiful pass protection every single time that's pretty much how it goes that's pretty much how it works make sure you guys slide right and do that let me see i do that guy the running back will pick him up every single time now you get the same pass protection let's call it db fire because that's what you're going to get db fire and you're going to get linebacker blitz same exact thing press same look slide right block running back id this guy now the biggest challenge with this setup is can my right tackle block that slot corner can he do it beautiful i mean we got shedded we can't account for that but picked it up perfectly that's why i like my running back on that side Pretty much every time against against a uh, dollar. You see, my right guard got shedded pretty quickly. But all in all, we put, we're a hat on a hat. We're looking good. We're looking strong. And that's what you want. Now, I want to show you guys the tells that I have in dollar. That's pretty much the basic blocking that I like to do for the most part. But I'll show you guys the tells. Because what, what I like to do is come out here and set my audibles. But I'll show you guys. Obviously, free safety zone blitz has the obvious tell of the safety running down. Now, you'll say, W, what did the baseline press? Of course, they'll block the tells, but there's always a little tell. The safety always moves just a little bit before they press. That's what you have to look at. When I break the huddle against Dollar, I always look at this guy. Is he moving down to the line? Did they call free safety blitz right away? Are they in a cover three shell? This safety on the left side of the screen will tell me that right away every single time. That's exactly where I look at when, I, when they break the huddle. That half second before they press wide down, will tell you a lot about their defense. So free safety zone blitz will obviously run down there uh, and the linebacker will step up as well. Those safeties will rotate before they press. That's the first thing you gotta look at. Now I'll show you the difference. DB fire, similar. It's not a similar tell, but it's, it's obvious. It's the slot corner. See them step in like that before they press? When they step in like that, one of them will step in closer before they press. That split second before they press down will give you tells on what defense they call. So watch again, DB fire, I'm gonna do this. Get to the line right here. Before I press, my slot corners move in real close and the safeties don't move. So that split second before they press Y and down to press their defense 
will give you every tell and tell you what defense they came out in for the most part when you're playing against Dollar, unless you know kind of where to attack and who's going to be blitzing uh, at the end of the day. So, and then at the end of the day, you can always use threat detector. That helps as well. Third and fourth down, you'll let them know if they're running DB fire, they're blitzing a the linebacker, they're running spinner, whatever it may be. Uh, what should we call it? That's, that'll help a lot too. Spinner is the other defense that people will run when they want to run six and seven people at you. They want to blitz a lot. They'll run spinner. Boom. Spinner. And this has the easiest tell of them all. And that'll be great, great, great. Set. press. The outside corner comes down right over top of the receiver. So, you know, they're in spinner. That's the easiest tell. So, you know, they're blitzing a lot more people and they're in stock, man. Anyway. Yeah. So spinner has the easiest tell like that. So, like I said, spinner is the same thing, though. You'll just slide right, ID that corner on the left. Now, you can do it this way with the running back on this side, right? Slide slide right, ID this guy, right? Because we're sliding right, so Lane Johnson should be able to not... We're blitzing some people here. I'm going to drop one of these in coverage. The problem with this that makes it tough is my, my running back now has to go across the quarterback. You never really want that in pass protection. But it should work. Like, he just say he got to go across. That's tough to navigate in pass protection when that happens. So, that's why I don't like it that much. But you can do it backwards, really. Now, if you want to get real sweaty on defense, and this is what I do, and this is what pros do, this is what everybody does. Like you said, so you set up audibles, and you come out and free safety zone blitz. You press, and now I audible to DB fire. Or I audible first. Let's do that again. I'll give you the I'll give you the the free safety zone blitz tell, right? I'll give you the tell, audible to DB fire, and then press. So you never really get that look right out the huddle. Now this is really sweaty. Most of the people you play won't do this, but uh, so and you'll see a lot of people doing that. And another common thing that's happening now in the competitive scene is people coming out in strong safety, double safety go. And doing the same thing, not pressing great, great, great. audible in the DB fire, and their safeties are still right there, and they just don't do any adjustments, no pressing, and so you get the same look with multiple different defenses out of it, you know. So the audible will cancel out all the tells I told you about, but not a lot of that's really sweaty stuff, man. You don't really, I mean, like I said, and but the same blocking still applies, and that's why you need the same blocking protection to play against what you call it to play against dollar now okay we know how to block it how do we attack it with routes like what routes do we use to attack this you know now free safety zone bliss you got to understand like where is this is like one of my favorite no, plays no, but no. where is the zones essentially right because this is what you'll get and i honestly i think this is a really good defense i i run it every play but uh yeah you'll get something like this right you'll have two flats cover three so where can we attack now, you know, if someone's using this side, there's a big gap of yellow zones here on this side of the right side, right? But you don't really want to throw near their user. But this is one of my favorite route combos to run. Just like this. A flat to the left. Uh, across The in route. Oh, I don't have a hot route master. The in route, the whip route, and you're going to put their user in a bind. So we'll slide left here. Same thing. Slide left. We got protection. Right over that almost threw a pick a little bit late a little bit early but my point is that great, great, their user's great, great. gonna be in that spot and we got to attack the left side and you got that's why you got to keep oh, this little red. flat route here so if the so if they play a cloud flat or a purple let me show you that a cloud flat or a purple like this you can always hit the running back i love this little running back route this yeah, year yeah. No, no. oh we're playing deep you're playing deep boom we just dump the ball off and get what we can Cover four is really good as well. Yes. But that's one of the routes. And then at the end of the day, the Lord's play called verticals, absolutely deadly. Because they have to guard. You got to realize, they have to guard the tight end. That's what I kind of think when I play defense I, or play offense. What do they have to guard? They have to guard this area in this defense. So they're not running all the way to the left. or They're not, you know, they're not running to the left. So the, the Lord's play right here will, will pretty much <laughs> always work. The problem is we got to make sure we throw the ball over that yellow zone in front of deep blue. And it always helps to have a zone uh, route underneath. It always helps. See that? 
Yep, that's what I mean. That's the yellow zone. Shade it up. Banged it. Boom. We're hard. We're shaded down this time, so that yellow zone shouldn't be that that great this time. And sometimes hey, if like the yellow zone is giving you trouble, it's a pretty simple fix, right? The yellow zone is too deep. All right, let's put a zone. Hey. Let's put a route in front of the yellow zone like this drag. Yellow you know, cut. slide left. Way different yellow zone right there. Way different yellow zone because I put a route in front of them. You know, just like it's sometimes it's simple. Way different yellow zone. Now, obviously, if I had the post route, I had pass lead elite. I had a lot of things would be way more open right now. But, you know, we're doing what we can. Slide right. We'll go back to this one. And I am in the Eagles playbook. Boys, Eagles playbook. I said, oh, my gosh. Chris Jones, a man. Specific, specific player adjustments. Uh, people ask me about those times. Specific player adjustments. We're just kind of going on a tangent here. Who knows? Who knows what makes the video? Who doesn't? But here we are. Uh, it's Y. Y, quick adjust Y. And then A is individual on the bottom left. A, individual. Individual gives you individual adjustments. A, Y brings coverage adjustments up, and A is individual. Y, A, individual, and then you get icons. And then you can press B for Devontae Smith. Back off. That's the outside corner. The slot would be the next guy in. Boom, the number two receiver. The next guy would be the tight end would probably be me, my linebacker. Then... AJ Brown, obviously him, and the next guy in would be the be the running back. Why everybody up? You can do the same thing by backing them off too. So, so if I got like if I want to run like a cloud zone, I'll back up these guys. This is really good like coverage defense because you'll have your clouds backed up far, but then you'll have your deep blues a little bit still to the line. So that would probably be the best corner route defense you can get right there. And you can also shade zone inside, outside. Like if I want to guard corner routes, I'm going outside, outside, shade, outside, shade, outside, shade, outside. If I want to guard like the tight end, uh, the tight end angle route or the tight end fade route here, I'll go Y and inside on the, on the coverage. Y shade it inside. You know, that's what I'll do. But that's kind of just how I play offense against Dollar. A little bit of tips of how I play defense. Wanted to help you guys out a little bit more because we've been farming the YouTube. And I've been playing baseball a lot. I'll play a lot more players lounge tournaments this week as well. Live on Twitch. You guys know I play those, but there haven't been any in a couple days. We're going to Oklahoma in a week. And we're going to be in Oklahoma for those big live tournaments. Actually, I think it's a week and a half. We'll be in Oklahoma. Norman, Oklahoma, March 27th, 28th, 29th. We'll be there. So man is super popping. I have been playing MOB, so I haven't played a lot of games the last two days. But wanted to drop this video. If you guys have any questions for the next video like that, Put them in the comments below. My Twitch chat helped give me some questions for this one. Glad I can help you guys keep playing. And 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 a lot of this stuff transfers from Madden to Madden to Madden to Madden. There's stuff I learned like physically in Madden in Madden on PlayStation 2 and that I still use today. So Madden is not a oh, it does it work last year, it's not gonna work next year. Blah blah blah. It definitely carries over for sure. So uh let's get it, boys. I appreciate all the love. We are closing in on a hundred thousand subscribers. Maybe Madden 25, we hit a hundred thousand subs, boys.